Africa will never get more than one athlete to the CrossFit Games, but it's not because of their talent. It's because of CrossFit's new worldwide rankings and strength of field calculation. Let me explain. In the new system implemented for the 2023 CrossFit Games, each region has been given a minimum number of qualifying spots. For the North American regions, those are five. For something like Oceania, it's three, Asia gets two, and Africa, it only gets one. That leaves 17 unallocated spots up for grabs. This is where the strength of field and worldwide rankings come into play. Last week, CrossFit shared the point system used for the worldwide rankings. Points are earned in the open, quarterfinals, semifinals, and games on a two-year rolling basis. But while all quarterfinal athletes are ranked, the strength of field only takes account the top 100 athletes using the DeHaunt method for determining where those spots get allocated. The DeHaunt method dates back to the 1700s and has been used for governments to allocate seats based on proportionate votes. CrossFit is using the DeHaunt method essentially as a way to say that an athlete in the top 100 gets a vote for their competitive region. But let's now look at why it's statistically impossible for Africa to ever send two athletes to the CrossFit Games. Based on the current worldwide rankings and using the DeHaunt method, a region will need at least five athletes in the top 100 to have a shot at getting an extra spot to the CrossFit Games. In both the men's and women's field, the final round of the DeHaunt calculation required that a region had five remaining votes left to get that additional seat. But if you look at the current rankings, African women only have four in the top 100 and the men only have three. To get into the top 100, it takes about 7,500 points, give or take a few, based on whether you're in the men's or the women's field. But what does it take to earn 7,500 points over that two year period? For an athlete finishing the top 99th percentile, the top 1% in the open and quarterfinals for two consecutive years is worth 5,940 points. That leaves you about 1,500 points shy of being in the top 100. So to crack into the top 100, you need to accumulate 1,500 points from two years of semifinal competitions and or the CrossFit Games. But for Africa, the only way to get to the games is to win your semifinal competition. Winning the semifinal, regardless of whatever region, earns you 4,000 points, more than enough to keep you in the top 100 for the following season, regardless of where you finish at the games. Second place at the African semifinal earns you 1,800 points, just enough to probably break into the top 100 and stay there for the next season. The problem is when you get to third place, it's worth only 800 points, which is shy of the 1500 that you need to make it. This means you'll need at least 800 points in the next year's semifinals to accumulate enough points to just barely make it into the top 100 or potentially just be outside of it. Fourth place only receives 400 points, fifth place gets 300, and sixth gets 250 points all short of the 1,500 points needed to get into the top 100. All right, so we know that at least two athletes from the semifinal in Africa will be in the top 100 after year one. Let's take a look at what happens in year two. So if the top six athletes in year one finish in the exact same order in year two, we already know athlete one and two have already earned enough points to stay in the top 100. That third place athlete earned 800 in year one and 800 in year two from the semifinals, were earning about 1,600 points. Add that to their open and quarterfinal performance, and they have just enough points to break into the top 100. But fourth, fifth, and sixth, and everything else below that, even if they were in the top 1% one, top 1 of their open and quarterfinal performance, they're going to end up points shy and end up outside the top 100, leaving Africa only three athletes in the top 100. That is gonna be short of the five needed to earn an additional seat to the following year's CrossFit Games. But there is technically a way that Africa does earn five athletes into the top 100. Let's take a look. Those top two semifinal athletes in year one now have to finish off the podium in fourth or worse. The third place athlete in year one has to finish has to finish third in year two. That athlete finishes in second or first or fourth or fifth. This doesn't work. 
the third place athlete has to finish in third place two consecutive years, along with the first and second in year one, finishing off the podium in year two. And in year two, the top first and second place athletes have to come from somebody who was not on the podium in the previous year. All of this, these top five athletes, all of these calculations assume that they finish in the top 1% in the open and quarterfinals both years. If any of those athletes finished outside that top 1%, it makes it that much harder to qualify and earn enough points to break into the top 100. And not only that, this assumes that the break into the top 100, that point total, the 7,500, never increases, which I think it will based on the other regions getting more points because they've earned additional seats compared to what was just shown after the first two years. But this probably has you thinking, what about the other regions, Oceania, South America, Asia? Do they even have a shot? The answer is yes. It will be difficult, but the point structure on the semifinals for them allows them to have a shot, albeit very small, to make it in. But to wrap it up, back to Africa. Is it mathematically possible for Africa to get a spot? Technically, yes. If you have the right situation, like I explained, the top two in year one drop off the podium, third place stays in third place in two consecutive years, and then in year two, two new athletes from the first year jump onto the podium in years one and two, and all of that assumes that they did very, very well in the opening quarterfinals both years. There's a chance that Africa earns an additional spot. However, that chance is so small I'm saying it's statistically impossible for Africa, based on the current ranking system today and calculations, that Africa will never send two men or two women to the CrossFit Games.